In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to MIDI, or Musical Instrument Digital Interface. And so before we can start learning about MIDI, let's go ahead and create a brand new Cubase project. So I'm going to go under the File pull-down menu and select New Project, or you can type Command N, and then click on the More tab and highlight the empty template, and then I'm going to choose Prompt for Project Location, and then click on Continue. And then I'm going to navigate to my Cubase Projects folder, and then I'm going to create a new folder called MIDI. Then I'm going to click the Open button, and as soon as I see this window, I'm going to save the project with the exact same name as the project folder. So this is just going to be called MIDI. Now before we go any further, I'm going to have to clear up one of the biggest misconceptions about MIDI, and that is that MIDI information is sound, and that's not the case. MIDI is a stream of controller information that can be transmitted and received by MIDI devices, including Cubase. But it is not sound. MIDI data can be used to create sounds, but it is not sound to begin with. And let me show you what I'm talking about by recording onto a new MIDI track. So I'm going to right click on the track column and select Add MIDI Track. If your browser is open like this, go ahead and close the browser window by clicking the Browse button and then just click on Add Track. Now make sure that the MIDI track is record enabled, and then with your MIDI keyboard handy, go ahead and hit the record button, and then I'm going to record a C major chord on my MIDI keyboard. Hmm, I didn't hear anything. That's kind of weird. If I recorded something on a track, wouldn't I be able to hear it? Let's play it back and make sure. That data starts to play back at around measure 3. So if I place my cursor at measure 3 and then start playback, I should be able to hear that. And I'm going to press the Enter key on my numeric keypad to start playback. That's so weird. Why can't I hear that? I've got three notes in there. You can see all three notes of the C major chord. And when I play that back, the VU meter on the track flashes, telling me that it's transmitting MIDI data. So why can't I hear it? Well, that's because MIDI is not sound. Only when you connect that data to a MIDI device that can make its own sounds will you hear the musical performance. And one of my favorite analogies of MIDI information is that of a player piano. If you've ever seen a player piano with that roll of paper that actually plays the piano itself, if you were to take that paper out of the piano and hold it up to your ear, you wouldn't hear any piano sound coming from that paper. It's the roll of paper that plays the piano. And in the same way, the MIDI information is what's transmitted to a MIDI device, and it's the MIDI device that makes the sound. And let me illustrate that quickly. I'm going to go to my Devices pull-down menu and select VST Instruments. And then I'm going to go to the first VST instrument slot in my rack and click on that first empty slot. And then go to Synth and select Halion Sonic SE. And then when it asks you if you want to create a new MIDI track, this time go ahead and select Cancel. And then you'll see the Halion Sonic SE control panel. Now on the left hand side, let's go ahead and load a sound. So I'm just going to have you select the GM001 Acoustic Grand Piano. So click on that instrument and then close the Halion Sonic control panel. And then also close the VST Instruments window if it's still visible. Now what happens when I play it back? Huh, still I don't get any sound. Even though I loaded an instrument, what is going on here? Well, this is a common frustration that people have when they first start to use MIDI. Like I said in the player piano example, it's the paper that plays the piano. So what we have to do is we have to plug that MIDI track into the device that 
creates the sound. In this case, it's a virtual instrument in Cubase called Halionsonic SE. So with that MIDI track highlighted, I'm going to come down here to the Output tab in the Object Inspector and click, and you'll notice that the very first thing that I can choose in the top of the list is Halionsonic SE. So I'm going to click on that, and now when I play that track back, since I've plugged it into a device that can receive MIDI information, when I press play, ah, now I hear the piano. So now that we understand the basic concept of MIDI, let's move on to our next video and learn more about virtual or VST instruments.